It was an anticlimactic finish for the Cardinals on Saturday as they looked to seek revenge against the Oneonta Red Dragons, who just a season ago defeated them in the semifinals of SUNYAC play. On Saturday, the Cardinals were hoping for a better fate. I, I can't say enough about our team. I think they played hard and, and they, they left it on the field. The Cardinals showed up strong, out shooting Oneonta 21-13 with shots on goal at 7-3. But as the game remained scoreless at the half, Coach Waterbury rallied his team for more pressure. We just tried to make a few adjustments, tried to tweak some angles and see if we could get behind them a little more and, and uh, tried to do uh, what we were doing positively. For most of the game, Plattsburgh was down senior defenseman Brandon Levine, who popped his hamstring earlier in the first half. But Plattsburgh's offense was key and was successful in getting behind Oneonta, forcing 13 corner kicks to Oneonta's three. Uh, I thought we were dangerous. You know, uh, you, you, you knew it was going to be a, a low scoring game, even though both teams are high powered offensively. You know, they got the goal and, you know, deserve it. It was a good goal. And, and uh, you know, and then we were really, really pushing up high. And because, you know, there was, it doesn't matter if you win or lose by one or two. So with the first tally coming with only 11 minutes left, the Cardinals kept the game interesting, scoring with only two minutes left, reviving the crowd. But it wasn't enough. And as the SUNYAC conference was collectively 12 games under 500, despite the Cardinals' 17-2-1 record, they did not get a bid into the NCAA tournament. And you invest a lot into it, and you lose a game like this, and it's going to hurt. Now remember, it was only a month ago that the Cardinals were riding a hot streak into SUNYAC play, but Coach Waterbury was concerned that they may have been overrated. After Saturday's game, he said it was finals week for the Cardinals, and they had done their homework, but they just came up short. In Plattsburgh, Greg LaChapelle, Cardinal Sports Live.